what's going on guys so today what's going on guys so today i have some great news for my fl studio users what is this great news that you might be asking uh we'll be glad to tell you that the great news is fl studio now has an update to where you can change the interface visually what do i mean by that let's take a look do you see this it's different colors and yes it's not a cracked version you can get it just like me now how do you do this i'm glad you came to me because i have the answers okay so first thing you want to do is go ahead head to your google search and search up fl studio form what this is going to do for you is pull up a list of forums where people can go and talk to each other about fl studio so go ahead this should pop up this users form uh in parentheses has loop talk uh, this is what this is where you want to go so you're going to go ahead go here loop talk this should come up it may look a little different i do have night mode on i can turn it off uh, this is this is what it's going to look like when, whenever you pull it up so from here what you want to do is you want to go um I want to say yep this the second one right here which is fl studio release candidate one please test it's going to bring you to the forum page uh talking about fl studio 21 so basically right now the only the the latest version of fl studio is fl studio 20 that is available to everybody um that's official that's officially released fl studio 21 is still a beta which is which is just fine if you want to test out the new stuff before it's officially released to everybody but you're gonna go ahead and go to this page you're gonna go uh obviously read everything carefully it's just telling you that this is a, a release candidate this means if we don't find any major issues with it, we will release it. Spoiler, there will be RC2. So basically it's just letting you know that it is not official. It is a beta. So whatever bugs or anything that you do come across, it's a beta. So they're, you know, they're not liable because they warned you here that it's not official. Uh, make sure you know your login information. I know a lot of people don't. So you need to know what your login is for FL Studio. Oh yeah, so this these are the installers right here, and you're gonna want to go ahead and hit the whatever link that you need to press, whether you're using Windows or a MacBook or an Apple. So once you click this, it's going to it should install. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again, but it should download the installer. And then once you download the installer, which I'll show you what it looks like is it's going to be it's going to be this file right here and then you're obviously you're going to want to run the application go ahead install it run it click yes to everything uh i've done it i promise you it's not going to kill you it hasn't killed me yet so it's, it's all good so yeah you're going to want to go ahead and install that and then what you're going to want to do is go into your your fl studio I want to say it's unlock unlock FL Studio. So once you've installed FL Studio 21 and you've already loaded it up and it may look like things haven't changed, it's because you have to go unlock the account after installing it. It's the most important part. I got stuck on this part for like 30 minutes. I don't want you to get stuck. All you have to do is just go unlock the account. Basically, it's just confirming that you know you are a real user and that way that the newer version can be used so go ahead unlock the account um, see right here is so when you press on it you're gonna go ahead and make sure you click agree and then your email and password and then lock account and once this is done go ahead restart your FL studio and make sure you're using FL studio 21 and not FL studio 20 this is also another problem I ran into that was kind of confusing. But what I what I will show you is that um, if we go down to my my F's wherever that may be. I lied. It's not even here. Okay, so in my in my thing, it's it's image line. So we have FL Studio 20s. Now this is a new 
completely different side of FL Studio. It's a different update. It's it's a complete new application. That's why it's gonna be completely separate from FL Studio 20. So when you download this, you have to be sure that you're using the FL Studio 21 and not FL Studio 20, because if you're trying to use FL Studio 20, obviously the, the application will not update to that FL Studio version. So you gotta make sure you're using FL Studio 21. And then once you load in FL Studio 21, boom, you have everything you could ever ask for. Everything that we've all been wanting and asking for since the beginning of time, which is themes. Like, why, why haven't we been able to change the colors of everything from the start? I feel like that should be a, one of the most important first things that a software should include, especially FL Studio. So then the next question is, how do I change the colors? Well, I'm glad you asked. So what you're going to go ahead and hit options. Then you have this setting right here, theme settings. Boom. So now you can go ahead and choose between all the preset set, uh, theme settings that you want, including you either got some of these like the dark orange, which in my per personal opinion looks amazing. You can go ahead and change the colors uh, individually like this. So down here in the selection, they have um, different specific options of colors to change. So obviously if you change like the option or no, let's do uh, let's do the selection. We could change it to green and see how everything that is in the selection highlight is going to be green or uh, you could change the text colors to blue. So everything is in blue. So you can really customize this to however you want. I have it to dark pink right now. I haven't had much time to mess with it, but this is the first custom one that I had made. And I personally, I like it. You know, everything looks beautiful. Everything is dark and it can really set the mood uh, when you're making music and you want to be like in a specific, like you want to be making like dark beats or like dark music. And now visually you can feel that. Um, or if you want to be a psychopath, you can go and choose like light fruit. This personally is blinding. I'm not going to lie, especially if you're in a dark room like me, I, my eyes couldn't take looking at this for longer than five minutes before I start bleeding out of my eyes. And I wish I was kidding, but this is just way too way too weird this is also a nice one but you get the point and they have the adjustments down here so you can go ahead and change like the volume settings of things so you can change your saturation brightness contrast and text um however you would like uh they and then they do have an option at the bottom which is like a and b so if you want to have a preset ready for a and then a preset ready for b that way you can quickly change from back and forth then you can do that. So just like that, see, A and B. And then if you wanna make your own preset, you make something that you do like, all you have to do is just, you know, let's say, let's say uh, we do like this light fruit, right? But you just don't like the green, so we change it all to blue. Let's do that. Let's all change this to blue, cause green is okay, but blue is much better. Um, let's see. Boom. All right, so white and blue it is, uh, and a little bit of orange. So you go ahead down here and you hit save preset, and then you go ahead. I could barely see it because the screen is so bright, but it's down here. You go ahead and change it to whatever. I'm gonna change mine to delete, so I remember to delete it. Save it, and boom, I got it right here in the presets. So now I can go ahead and just click on it whenever I want and use it. So. Yeah, that's, that's really the most important part of this whole update. I'm not gonna lie. Um, another cool thing for, for, you know, my visual nerds is they do show the, uh, the, the sample preview. So I got my, uh, my new drum kit. If you want to join my discord and the link in bio to have access to that, that's the only place you can get it, but you got some great, great sounds in here. And, uh, so whenever you click something, you can see the sample preview down here at the bottom, which is amazing. 
yeah it's weird it's weird doing tutorial videos like this again i'm not gonna lie i'm not used to it i want to get back into the swing of things i want to be able to teach you guys how to do stuff on fl studio and you know spread the love and spread the music man you know being able to create and knowing how to create is such an important tool in life man i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like leave a comment i love you all I know I have said it before, but 7,000 subscribers is crazy. If you guys enjoyed, I know I said that already. I'm so sorry. Have a wonderful day. Bye.